Aligning a cylindrical part with nothing to stop rotation is simple but can sometimes be confusing for new CMM users. In this example, we'll complete a manual and DCC alignment that's both efficient and guarantees accuracy and repeatability. First step is a simple manual alignment to get the part orientated correctly on the CMM. In this case, we will simply measure the necessary features with the fewest hits required to create a base alignment. A manual alignment really only pre-positions the part on the CMM, then the DCC alignment locks it in place. Seeing that my part here has different size diameters on each end, I will measure one circle on each end and one point on the CAD origin face to match the CAD coordinates to the CMM coordinates. Each circle is measured with just three hits, the minimum to solve a circle, to keep things quick and easy for the operator. I'll now construct a line between those two circles to create an axis for my level. With the manual alignment features measured, I'll open the alignment window and select the constructed line to level my part. In this case, I'll level to Y+. I will now set the X and Z origin on that same line, followed by setting my Y origin on the point. This will complete my manual alignment. In a case such as this, there is no need to add a rotate statement to this alignment as there are no clocking features to stop rotation. It should also be noted that measuring and leveling to a plane on either face of this part and then rotating between the two cylinders is bad metrology practice and re will result in inaccurate and unrepeatable measurements. Now I'll switch into DCC mode and pick up the actual datum features to complete the DCC alignment. For this part, the datum A and datum B features are cylinders on each end with the face of the larger diameter as the CAD origin. Before we get started, I always want the CMM to move to a certain point above and in front of the part, so I'll set that with a move point. I've now activated the clearance cube to automatically move around the part. I'll set this at 100 millimeters to be sure all moves and probe rotations avoid crashing into the part. I will now use quick features on the first cylinder I need to measure to quickly add the feature to my routine using my default measurement and move parameters. Now I will measure the opposite side. Now that I have both cylinders measured, I can finish by constructing the cylinders into a common axis to complete the alignment. Now that my features are complete, I can open the alignment window again and select the line as my Y plus level and again set the X and Z origins. Then I'll select cylinder one as the Y origin and this completes the DCC alignment of a cylindrical part. Thank you so much for watching. Now get out there and find those microns.